Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, building a complete ship, start to finish. So, we are on uh, part four, and last time we did the engines, and uh, just a note for all of you uh, who are part of the Steam Engine gang, don't worry, like, like I said last video, we might change the engines uh, if we really need to, because that's part of building a complete craft, is sometimes you have to redo stuff, but if it works, it works. Please do not be offended. I fully acknowledge that steam engines would probably work better for the situation. So, but moving on from that, uh, we need to think about uh, ammo. So this is a kind of important part of internals because ammo has a major drawback in that it explodes. It goes boom, it goes foof, it goes pow, it goes splat, and it tends to uh, make things that are right next to it go splat, so it's best to keep it away from anything else, which is why I don't tend to put my ammunition compartments in the center compartment near the engines and AI and all that stuff. Uh, I tend to put them in the bow or the stern, which is admittedly the less armored parts of a ship, but also ammo isn't actually the most important thing on your ship. Your AI and engines are the most important because you can lose half your ammo compartments and you can still fight. Uh, but if you lose your engines, you can't move and you can't use energy weapons, and if you lose your AI, well, you're brain dead. So we're going to be building ammo compartments in the fore and aft uh, of the ship, and we're going to be talking about how to make them more uh, splat-proof as we go. So to start off with, I like to sink uh, my ammo compartments lightly into the deck. So as you can see here, this is pretty decent armor, but I'm going to have even more armor, like so, how much of this do we want, alright, let's just be, let's be conservative, let's be like so, that's probably a bit much, but probably it's okay, and these things are going to be somewhat tall, uh, because I want to put things in between them, and the ammo bunker is going to actually function as extra armor for this, which is very nice, it's very nice indeed. What's over here? Nothing. So we'll just do that. What's over here? Mm. Alright, we're going to shrink this a little bit. We're going to shrink it down just a little bit because I don't actually want it touching the edges of the compartment because I just don't want to. There we go. And we can actually do that. That's not the right block. That's silly. Don't do that, borderwise. Don't do that. Alright, so. One thing, and there's two schools of thought about ammo, by the way. One idea is to have lots of little ammo barrels distributed throughout your craft, so if one gets popped, it doesn't matter, you don't lose much. The other is to make uh, a big, well-defended, well-armored ammo compartment that um, just is very nice and secure and safe. Uh, I tend to do something in the middle. I tend to have multiple ammo compartments uh, spaced out. But, uh, they are fairly big, so they can hold lots of ammo. And one way to make them more explosion-proof, you could say, is to have filler blocks in between them. So, we have this, so we have a 2 meter ammunition. And what I used to do uh, was put 2 meter metal beams in between them, because apparently I was just told this. And this is one of the reasons why, if anything, uh, anyone, including me, uh, tells you something from the depths, it does help to test it out for yourself. Um, I was told that this can help uh, stop the entire ammo compartment cooking off if one block uh, of ammo gets popped. As it turns out, uh, using 2 meter metal beams like this doesn't work that well. It'll survive, like, maybe it'll stop it from cooking off if just one is uh, popped. But if multiple of them are popped, you still get a chain reaction. So what I've started doing instead is using heavy armor slopes. So either these beam slopes or just the regular slopes. We got it like that. And we're just gonna uh, prefab this little thing here. Turn the UI on, that'll help. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this thing is gonna need actually quite a lot of ammo. Uh, because it's uh, going to be just very good like that. I actually don't usually prefab it like this, but it's very important. And the reason I'm using slopes is because using uh, full beams is actually kind of overkill, and we are going to have to start thinking about reducing weight as much as possible. This craft has a lot of heavy armor on it. I, it is not what I usually do, but uh, in this case, we 
kind of need it, but also not really. And there is going to be that's it. So how much ammo is that? We might need more of it, but keep in mind we're going to have a duplicate one off on the side. We're going to do this. Boop. And we're going to do this. Boop. And we're going to do this. And ta-da! We have an ammo compartment. Now we're going to go do the same thing over on the other side. Um, this thing is going to have a fair amount of missiles and torpedoes and whatnot, so it uh, we might have to expand the ammo compartment and put extra ammo compartments uh, out here in the front. Uh, I didn't actually have a plan for what to do with the space here. I was just going to leave it empty, but we might do that. We might not. We'll see. So let's go over here. That was actually where I was going to be putting lambs compartments, stuff like that. But we can figure that out later. Do 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 Jurassic Park theme tune is nice. It is epic. Okay, so we got that. Except we can't. Let's do that. I'm paranoid about stuff like this. And it is helpful just to leave a little bit of space sometimes if you're not sure about what you're doing, uh, just so you can sort things in later. Could have done that. I do want space in the middle for fun and activity, so bear with me, that's why I'm doing that. It looks like I'm wasting space, I'm actually being super clever. Partially the reason I'm being super clever is doing something like this. I could make one big prefab right here, actually. I could do that just fine. Could do that, could do that, and you can see in between each ammo block is a nice heavy armor block, which means it'll hopefully not be a complete disaster when it gets hit in the face. And you can see there, we got a lot of ammo access. Have how much ammo access? Probably not enough quite yet for our purposes. We could be super clever and put uh, heavy armor slopes here, actually, but um, and expand it further. We could make this even taller. In fact, we're going to. I'll go expand that one. All right, so let's do this new. Because I want at least 10,000 ammo access, which might be, it might be overkill, but then again, it might not be. It might actually be perfect for our purposes. Perfect for purpose. Perfect for purpose! Alright, so we've got that. We're going to have a little 3 meter lid. We're going to have a 3 meter lid. And we're going to have stuff on top here. Boop, and that'll do for new. And we can always extend that upwards a little bit more because we've got room. We have room up here. So let's do this and this and this and this and this, this, this. Actually, clever thing we can do. We can use shift click to our advantage. And there's no point doing that, actually, because we've been fine. Right, so what have we got here? We've got that, 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 and that. And now we can make magic happen. Okay then, we have a lot of stuff. Let's see if this thing can still float. We might need to be start doing interesting things uh, with uh, other materials. Can I put an air pump in the front here? I did not. That's a good idea. There we go, putting an air pump in the bow and the stern. That's the stern, you can tell because there's a flag. It's a stern stern. It's very stern. One neighboring pumps. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, this isn't sealed off. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. This is not a problem. We can seal this off. We should be able to seal this off. I know this is supposed to be like the ammo compartment uh, section, but it seems we're having issues with that. There we go, there we go. And now you are sealed off. Lovely. And I need to go do that with the front as well before I forget. And this is kind of just how building goes, really, because... Uh, 
floor and one, two, just using alloy because I'm paranoid about this thing being floaty enough. Will she, will she be floaty enough? Will she float? She does float. She still floats. Barely. Oh lordy. Okay. Alright, so that's our ammo compartments done. There's going to be stuff threaded in through the middle here, so don't worry about it. And if we need more ammo, we have space in the bow and the stern, just for little pockets of ammunition. And uh, what have I missed? Uh, yeah, that's basically it, really. This was a nice short little one, just to show you what the ammo compartments are going to be like. Nice and separate, nice and cool, nice and great. And let me know in the comments how you do your ammo compartments, because everyone does them a little bit differently, I find. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps, and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters, and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Building a complete ship. Farewell.